Simon, we now know, and you've got the, the document in front of you, Borussia Dortmund in the last few minutes have confirmed that they reached an agreement with Manchester United yep. over the transfer of Jadon Sancho. Yep. When it breaks down, it's 85 million euros. You were telling me that's what, about 73 million quid. Apparently. Yeah. Um, so there it is. It is done. Um, before I go any further, in your view, good business at this money or bad business? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, I made the observation a couple of days ago about the development of Mason Greenwood and was routinely and roundly corrected by the delightful segments of Man United fan base that Mason Greenwood's going to be a centre forward. So my uh, comparison that this would perhaps inhibit the development of Mason Greenwood was misguided. Look, clearly Jaden Sancho's a talent and clearly Man United uh, have pursued him for quite some significant amount of time and want him to be part of their team and believe that they're going to build sides that include him in it. Mm. 73 million quid is a lot of money for a footballer, but he is a player that's got... If you look at his statistics, if you look at the performance over the last 92 games that he's played in German football, he's 37 goals. I saw the stats on your old mob at Sky last night and 41 um, um, assists and whatever else. He's a decent footballer. Yeah. And of course, Man United now will look at it and say, well, you know, they wanted 108 million quid a year ago and we've now got him for 73 million quid. Hmm. And I suspect this is part and parcel of the cost implications of buying footballers at that particular level and for these particular clubs. United, I think, will be on a charm offensive. I think the Kaisers will do business to make sure that the backdrop of some of the observations, criticisms, some of the outrage that's been foisted upon them because of their relationship with the fans since 2005 and clearly their relationship with the, the failed... ESL yeah. has created a backdrop of distrust, dislike, distaste and all the other disses. Um, and I think they'll, you'll see more transactions that United will do. I don't think this will be the last player they sign this summer. Well, see, I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, Borussia Dortmund feel that United have done a job in them because uh, Vachka, the chief executive, has just been saying it was Jaden's express wish to yep. change. We would like to have kept him. We are not happy about the money, but it's sad that he's leaving. Now, the money, the money, this yep. would make Jaden Sancho the second most expensive Englishman. Yep. Uh, Maguire is, is top there on 80 currently, million. Currently. So Manchester United, and I'm getting to this, Simon, for Manchester United, read the Glazer, 73 million quid. Yep. Is the signing of Sancho at this price not another nail in the coffin for the anti-Glazer campaign? No. Why? Because, because there's never been a real rational argument from that campaign that the Glazers haven't spent money on players. The argument has been that they don't like the way that the Glazers have bought the club. They don't like the fact they've loaded it with debt and serviced that debt through the club's own money. They don't like the fact they've paid dividends. They don't like the fact that they've not invested in Carrington or invested in the stadium. And they don't like a lot of things about the Glazers. They don't like a lack of communication. They don't like any of this stuff. There's never been... There will always be an argument that from certain segments of the fans that they could have done more and they could have spent more. But really rational people not emotively driven people would suggest that United have spent a lot of money during that period of time. United were never the biggest spending club. No. Even when Ferguson was there, they were never the biggest spending club all the time. They 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 they, they were at the top of the tree because that's where Man United would expect to be and that's where they've remained with the Glazers. So no, I don't think this will dissuade a certain viewpoint. But it, it, you know, it it, it it undermines the argument. But then by buying, you know, Fernandez undermine the argument. Buying Maguire undermine the argument. Buying Aaron Wampasaka undermines the argument. But notwithstanding that, they'll still come back round um, and say it's because of this. It's because of that. Because they can't undo how they bought this football club. No, they bought it. They loaded don't want it with to. Debt. They loaded the debt with debt. They've serviced the debt. They've taken two billion out in interest payments and dividends. Well, I'll put, it another, I'll put it another way then. What are they doing wrong? Sancho comes not in winning. here at 73 mil. Not, of course. Not, not winning. But that's why they've got Sancho. Not that's winning. why they bought Maguire. Maguire doesn't look too bad now, incidentally. 80 million well, quid. Yeah, maybe well, the, the jury's out on that. Yeah, but mm. what are they doing wrong? Bruno Fernandes well, through all, the door. We all know Harry what Maguire, we, 80 million. We all know what they're doing wrong. Jaden Sancho, 73. We all know what they're doing wrong. And you know, you'll get the Man United fans that will say, no, you don't. But if they were winning, there would be less of a, of a background noise. Mm. And everything else about the loading of debt and the payment of dividends would be background noise if Manchester United were at the top of the Premier League and winning the tournaments that they played in. Now, of course, they'll say, well, hang on, no, you're not a Man United fan. You don't understand. They've amputated the spirit of this club. There's no prosthetic for an amputated spirit. But that's not true because ultimately the lifeblood of a football club is its fans, not its owners. 
So what they're taking out of the football club is academic. Who cares? Look at the bloody managers that have walked through the door and had, that had it on their toes. Look at the players that have walked through the door and got paid money like Sanchez for doing the square root of bugger all. And they don't seem to have a big problem with those sort of people. It's about the nature of the way this football club is performing and the way other football clubs have moved on past Manchester United. Now, if they fix that particular problem, there'll still be a distaste and a dislike because that's ingrained in some people and you'll never change their mind. Like some people might say, you'll never change my mind about Rafa Benitez. Yeah. Yes, you will, because yeah. you'll go and manage a club and not get what he wants at times and not throw his toys out the pram. And that will change my mind. But in this instance, signing um, Sancho, they'll say, well, hang on a second, that's the least we can do. It's the least you can do. That will be the mentality. And now what? And, and, and by the way, we need another... The stadium's not fit for purpose. We want £200 million spent on that. And Carrington isn't where it needs to be. And we want this for that and that for this and this for the other. Yeah. Right? Because there's certain people that just will not have the glazers. And I understand that because that's their right. It doesn't mean that they are right. It's their right to think that way. Because I can't understand what it is that the glazers have done that stopped... They've made bad managerial appointments at times like we all do. Right? Louis van Gaal put everybody's feet to sleep. We know it. Mourinho went in a very dark way. Nobody gave Moyes any time, so you can't make a much of a rational argument about that particular one. And you look at it now, and my argument about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is they don't get a proven winner in there to compete with proven winners. Mm. But by, by, by definition, they have backed each and every manager with players. Angle de Maria, buying £50 million players like Angle yeah, de Maria. Yeah. They've bought players religiously and consistently. And what they take out as dividends seems to me just to be an exercise in people being offended for offended sake. And I yeah. know Man United fans are going to jump up and down like demented dervishes now because they're going to say you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. But anybody with a rational mind would say, look at the spend pattern of this club. Look at who they buy and who they don't buy. Pogba, you know, Fernandes... But Aaron Wampasaka, Lukaku, I know some of these players have moved on. Mourinho is the biggest managers in the world have come in there and mm. come out again. This is still a club that's striving to try and be at the very top of the tree. No, they don't get things right. And no, uh, Ed Woodward was a joke of a football operator in terms of understanding the football world, not the commercial world. But it isn't because they don't want to be successful. And I think Man United fans have an element of irrationality about their dislike of them. Right. So you just, yeah. you, 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 you've really just said to the Glazers... I don't really see that there's that much you're doing long, wrong and I don't see why you get so much criticism. No, I think they're bloody stupid for not engaging with the fans. But, I think they, they, but no, they are now. Well, they, they are, are now. now. No, because they've been forced dragging and kicking and screaming into doing yeah, it. They've been, they've enough, been, it wasn't they, their style before, but they well, are now. Well, I think it should have been their style. I because agree. if you're going to buy well, a business... Well, this morning it's been to us. If you're going to buy a business like Manchester United, which survives and thrives on its sheer emotion and brand recognition and size, yeah. and emo then you've got to talk to these guys. You've got to involve them. You might not like what they have to say. Mm. And, you might, and it certainly, certainly, by the way, Jim, if you're in a privileged position of buying it with other people's money, loading the club with the debt and taking dividends, then at least you can do is have a proper dialogue with them. So I get the United fans saying, oh, hold on a second, you saucy sods. You've bought your other people's money. You put nothing in there. You've had all your money out, plus a turn. You're riding around on the back of Man United's recognisability and doing nothing with your own pockets. And you still don't engage with us. So I can understand that. But you can't run the argument that they're not backing the club because no. they've taken a few bob out of it. So, I mean, I go with that, Simon. I go with what you're saying. Manchester United's £73 million signing of Sancho here. And Dortmund not happy. They wanted more. They didn't get more. Tough luck so, for so them. United they have ever done well in this year. negotiation. So £73 million and he's in. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.